If Smart Chunky was not there, Innes and Raga would never have known how the profits of mutual fund companies were flourishing. Raga was amazed after seeing a simple calculation example by Chunky. He understood that the power of compounding in mutual funds works not only for the customers but also for mutual fund companies. The fees of companies also increase at the same rate. Actually, mutual fund houses charge you a fixed amount to manage a scheme. These expenses include sales and marketing, advertising, administration, transaction costs, investment management fees, registrar fees, custodian fees, audit fees, etc. In market language, this is called the total expense ratio. This fee has been fixed by SEBI from the 1st of April 2020. The fees are different for debt and equity mutual funds. Fee depends on the size of the fund. Higher the assets under management, lower would be the fee. AUM is the total investment that is being managed in that scheme. This fee is deducted even before your money is invested. For example, if you invest rupees 1 lakh in a mutual fund and there is 1.5% expense ratio, then only rupees 99,995.89 will be invested. Money9 suggests investors must check the expense ratio before investing in mutual funds. If you are going for fund selection, then include other criteria as well. If you want to know how expense ratio is calculated, then meet Formula Guru.